Thank you. Hello, uh, Jerry Abraham. Um, when when you're in the low grids and you've got momentum going, I I now understand you can't wrestle an issue to the ground. And I know the answer is going general, but I feel like um, what I'm asking from this interaction is I want to short my belief. I want to know that it's okay to never talk about the issue. I want to know that going general will put me up in the discs. You know what I mean? I have a fear of going general when the momentum's going. It's like, you know, that that's not okay. Well, here's the way we would like to describe that. So let's say you're on a disc and you've got momentum going about something that you don't want. Remember, every subject is two subjects, what you want on one end of the stick and what you don't want on the other. So you've got the momentum going where you don't want it to be. If you can slow that momentum, you will then begin moving it to the higher frequency where the other end of the stick is. So it's not like giving up on what you want. It's like no longer shooting yourself in the foot about what you want. There, there's like a, like a fear and insecurity when I know about this stuff that I can't slow the momentum like going general won't be enough well going general sometimes isn't enough if the momentum is really strong Esther discovered that she discovered that that's exactly the story that we were telling you about what really recently happened to her she couldn't slow the momentum it once it got going she couldn't bring it back and everything she said just made it worse and so she really had to crash and burn but the next day she started out on a different disc and is maintaining that different disc on that subject mm. you see what is fear anyway uh, I'm looking at something in the way that my inner being isn't looking at yeah it. exactly so fear means I've introduced resistance into something that I really want and so what's the logical thing withdraw my resistance how would I withdraw my resistance by not giving my attention to that but there's so much momentum I can't take my eyes off of it well not right now you can't but if you care about it you won't put your eyes quite on it again and each time you do it it's easier and easier until those negative momentums just peter out from lack of airtime from lack of attention they'll, really, always, they do. they'll always just peter out that that was like my insecurity it's like too late and I know I saw a quote it's never too late to find a good feeling thought about anything but I have like never a fear too late, that it's but there too are late. times that it's easier than others. Mm -hmm. You see, if you could see your vortex as we see it, people worry that their ship will come and they will miss it. And they don't realize that there's another ship and another one and another one and another one and another one. Eventually you're going to rendezvous with what you want, but you got to get on the disc where what you want is. You're the one who has to meet what you want at the vibration where it is. We liked that. Did you like that? You have to meet what you want on the vibration where it is. And so if you're here at this momentum and you're afraid to stop the momentum because you're afraid what you want will go away, well, what you want isn't going to meet you there anyway. So we wouldn't worry about it. What you want can't meet you in the vibration of fear anyway. So you might as well just let it go and let it peter out with the chance of getting on the higher disc where what you want is. That was really good. That was really good. I, I guess I, I, I love and I know it's true and I love the saying and you know I've heard you say like you wouldn't let a guest you know like never talk about that issue again I want to have like the confidence that if I never talk about that issue again you know things will work out well we don't want you to not talk about what you want we just don't want you to talk about the issue part of it you see with every question there's an answer and the question sucks and the answer flows and with every problem there is a solution and the problem blows and the solution flows in other words we don't want you to drop the subject we just want you to pick the disc before you focus on the subject and if you keep picking the disc that is about this end of the stick instead of the disc that is about this end of the stick then you keep practicing yourself into this vibration that law of attraction just keeps bringing you more of the same different faces different places but same experience over and over again so you have to do something to break the evil spell and it's not an evil spell but it's fun thinking about it you have to do something to break that momentum and and the only thing that we know to break momentum is to withdraw attention from it because attention to it is gas on the fire and you cannot get to the bottom of an issue there's no bottom the momentum just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and reaches out wider and wider and wider and brings more evidence to support what you don't want to you you see so when you finally get that say oh never mind
I really don't want to talk about this. That really infuriates people who do want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about this. Why? You don't want to talk about it? You too good for me? You don't want to talk about it? Really don't want to talk about it because it makes me feel like this and I don't want to feel like this. Oh, too good to talk about it? When you keep starting up here and starting up here and starting up here, pretty soon those people that want to talk about it, you zig and zag and you don't run into them so much. They can't get on your disc. They can't get anywhere near you when you practice that, you say. So my new story is the disc is the focus of my attention. The disc is my first choice. And once I'm spinning there, then I'll focus on anything and everything that is important to me. Because every subject, you see, you've been sifting through life and you've got a vortex version that's spinning up there on everything that matters to you. And when you get up on that disc that's up there in that same vibration, then all those things come into your experience and they're realized by you all day, every day. It's so much fun. I want to go back just to be certain that we've gained the headway that we know we've gained, but we want you to know it. So when you say, I'm afraid of, say that again, I'm afraid of. Uh, going general or take going general is not enough when there's momentum going. So I'm still a little afraid that I'm not going to get what I want because I've been counting on action, wrestling things to the ground. A lot of the way I've been creating my life has been the hard way, but it has worked to a certain extent. Because in a world that doesn't really know about energy, there are only a few people that are really flying high and creating effortlessly. Most people are working a lot harder at it. And I'm afraid to let go of what I know and trust something that I'm not so sure of. And we say, the evidence will be there really fast. You won't be in that faith without evidence very long. Once you get on that high flying disc, things start happening. You go, are you kidding me? Can you believe this? Did you see how easy that was? That's the way it's supposed to be. You see. Does that mean that you'll never dip again? Hopefully not. We want you to dip because you want to keep giving more momentum to more subjects. You want to continue to clarify. But once you understand how this works, then you don't feel unworthy when you've dipped. You just feel appreciative of the clarifying process that's giving you more opportunity for more information about what you want. How are you going to know what you do want if you don't experience some of what you don't want? We want you to bless all of it, you see. But there's enough contrast up here for you to keep you happily busy for the rest of this physical life experience. Really, there is.